Hey guys, Steph B. Sandy, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a spread in your bullet journal for a book study. You can apply any book for any purpose and use this method. It can be for school, it can be for church, it can be for leisure, anything that you want. Anyone who reads can use this exact method that I'm using and this exact spread. I'm using The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer because that's what I'm currently reading. And I'm going through the supplies I'll be using in this video. And I'll link it below in case you're interested in any of these items. I highly recommend them. I'll go more into detail as we use them together throughout this video. Obviously, I'm sticking with blue colors just because it's my theme for the month, if you saw my previous bullet journaling videos. I'm starting off with the title of the book in the center of the page because it's so different from my other spreads, and I like to make it stand out. Also, I think it's only fair to make the title of the book centered as the focal point since it is the whole purpose for this page. I used a small Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen to write out the word. I'm also going back and darkening all the downstrokes just to make it faux calligraphy style, which I really like. And then I'm going in with my 005 Micron Pigma pen, which is the smallest pen that I have in my collection. And I'm using that for the smaller words, just because I don't want them to stand out as much. Now I'm just using a ruler to help me draw a box around the title. I'm using a ruler because I do want it to be pretty precise. This is also really easy to do because this journal is dotted grid, which means that I could really easily center the title on the page and draw my lines without too much effort. Now I'm going in with my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in 535. This is a gorgeous blue color, and I'm darkening the downstrokes in the U and S and Untethered Soul just to make it stand out. Now I'm using the 005 Micron Pigma Pen once again, and I'm drawing lines. And I did this just to make it more aesthetically appealing. I thought that the vertical lines were soothing because they remind me of rain, and the wavy designs that I'm making at the bottom with my metallic jelly roll pen, they remind me of waves, and I just think that's perfect to go along with self-help and anxiety management, and that's the whole purpose of the book. And you definitely want to let this pen dry because it will smudge, so let it dry longer than any of your other pens that you have. And then I just went and darken the tip of the waves just to add more of a bold effect and now i'm going in with my zebra mild liner and this is in the blue shade of course and i'm using that to create a shadow effect around the box quick tip for any of you who struggle to draw a straight line without a ruler just keep your wrist as steady as possible and just drag your whole arm it'll give you a straight line every time trust me Using my Tombow 243 brush pen, I'm going over every other vertical line inside that title box just to give it a little bit more color. And these are some stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby that I really like. They're just black and gold arrows, and I just used two of them. I've been dying to use them since I picked them up. And now since that other side with the Jelly Roll pen has dried, I just went back and matched that with the first side where I just go over the tip of the waves. Next, I'm making some lines for a chart to track my reading completion. And since the bottom of the lines smudged after I moved the ruler, I added some touches with my Jelly Roll pen to hide the mistake. That's why I'm writing kind of funny and sadly covering up what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to smudge a Jelly Roll pen because I could not handle more smudging. So once again, I'm doing that faux calligraphy just for the titles to make them a little bit more bold than everything underneath inside the chart. So in my chart, I have the weeks, chapters, a column to check off if I've read, and then a column to track if I participated in the group discussion. I'm reading two chapters per week except for the last week, which it only makes sense to do three chapters and finish up the book. I also wanted this to be centered on the page, at least for the most part. And if you were wondering what we're doing for the rest of the page where there's all that empty space, I'm going to write all the notes and quotes that I want to look back and remember from the book. That way I don't have to reread the book in order to get the benefits from it. And I can always remember and carry the messages with me without, like I said, having to dig through each page of the book. I'm writing the quotes in small print followed by the page number. I can't wait to fill out these two pages entirely with great notes for personal growth. I highly recommend this.
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it inspired you to not only read but also keep a journal where you can always look back for knowledge and reminders and also just for fun as always. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information and links if you're interested in any of the products shown. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to join me in my journey and I'll see you in my next video.